Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with another hockey game for you, Card and Dice. This is going to be a cross-year cross, cross year, uh, matchup. We're going to have the 2010-2011 Atlanta Thrashers, who now no longer exist, who were 34, 36, and 12 in 2010-2011, going up against the Vancouver Canucks of 2011, or 2021. The 2021 Canucks, which were the... Uh, Canucks of the COVID-shortened season, and that's why it's only 2021, because the games only started, I believe, in January of 2021. And the Canucks were 23, 29, and 4 in last place in the North. So this is a pretty good matchup, two teams that are pretty equally bad. Uh, the goaltending matchup tonight will be, for the Atlanta Thrashers, will be Andre Pavlik. And for the Vancouver Canucks will be Thatcher Demko. And we will go over the lines as the lines come out. But the first line that's going to be out there is... Oh, hold on. We got to get... We got to correct that. Uh, the first line that's going out for Atlanta is going to be Andrew Ladd at left wing, Rob Shremp at center, and Blake Wheeler at right wing. Their defense will be T Tobias Enstrom at left defenseman and Dustin Byfuglen at right defenseman. For Vancouver, their front line, their first line that's going out there is going to be Brock Besser at left wing, Bo Horvat at center, and Nils Hoaglander at right wing. Their defense, the starting blue line for them is going to be Alexander Edler, at left defenseman and Nate Schmidt at right defenseman. And so, with all of that out of the way, we will do the face-off. That is an 11, and uh, Horvat at face-off is a plus 2. Shrimp is a 0, so it's a plus 2 on a roll of 11. And uh, let's see. That's going to be superior any player. So that's going to go to, we'll give it to Horvat. So he'll start with the puck. And uh, the home team is going to be Vancouver. So Vancouver home, and it says inside shot for any player. So he'll give that inside shot to uh, Horvat. He gets an eight, which is going to be an Rebound. It's a save and a rebound, and we're going to pick the uh, card to see what the rebound says. The rebound says offensive center if offense rating is three or more, and it, I have to believe, is. It is. So he gets a rebound. Corvac gets a rebound shot. That's four on the rebound, and that's going to be a goal one to 15. And it is a goal, and all of a sudden, <laughs> Vancouver is out in front big time here really quickly and uh it's one nothing so we're gonna we're gonna do another uh face off <laughs> that didn't take very long another face off it's four four and a plus two and that's gonna be superior right wing so Nils, uh, Nils Hoaglander has the puck. Again, they are home. Home says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. Now the left defenseman is Enstrom, and he is going to pass the puck. So we'll check the passing section. Lose puck defensive left wing has control. That is Brock Besser. Besser with control, and we pick the card, and home says outside shot for any player. Um, oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Uh, outside shot for any player. We'll make that Horvat, but he'll try to uh, penetrate. He's a penetration four, 
and I think he does get inside. He does. So now he's going to have an inside shot. It's an eight. Eight inside shot is a save and a rebound. We'll pick the rebound uh, card. Pick the card to look at the rebound. Defense, any player. So uh, they're going to give the puck to uh, Andrew Ladd. Andrew Ladd has the puck. He is the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for opponent. So that means the right wing, Nils Hoaglander, has an outside shot, but he is a four. He'll try to penetrate. He does. He's got an inside shot. It's a 10. 10 on the inside shot is save and left wing. So Andrew Ladd comes back away with the puck. He is the visitor, and it says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That's Nate Schmidt with an outside shot. He'll just take the outside shot. That is a nine, and it's lose to right wing. So Blake Wheeler of Atlanta has control of the puck. They are the visiting team. Opponent defense 12. So the left wing's defense 12, Brock Besser, takes the puck away. And the forward lines change. So we'll flip them over. And now the... Uh, Forward line for Vancouver is Tanner Pearson at left wing, and he has control of the puck. J.T. Miller at center, and Jay Beagle at right wing. For Atlanta, they've got Evander Kane at left wing, Nick Antropov at center, and Anthony Stewart at right wing. Home team has the puck, and that says outside shot for right wing. So that would be Jay Beagle. He has a one penetration. He'll try to pass the puck. See if we can get a tic-tac-toe play here. Passing against even. Lose puck to opponent. All right, so he's going to lose the puck to Evander Kane. He's the visitor. It says opponent defense 13. So Beagle's defense 13 is outside shot. Kane has an outside shot, but he's a four penetration. He'll try to get inside. He does. He has an inside shot. That's an 11. That's going to be a save in the center. So J.T. Miller comes away with the puck and the defensive lines change. So now for Vancouver, you have... Quinn Hughes at left defenseman and Travis Harmonic at right defenseman. For Atlanta, you have Johnny Oduya at left defenseman and Ron Hainsey at right defenseman. Remember Ron Hainsey? I love that guy. So anyway, uh, we're going to... Miller has the puck. He's the visitor, and if it, across from him is anything but a D for penalty, and he is a C, so that's going to be a penalty on Atlanta. We're going to pick the first, the next two cards for the power play, and then we're going to roll for the power play. 17. If one or more, four defensive uh, rated players. If four or more defensive, four defensive rated players. No, there's no way. Uh, so... Um, if no, uh, let's see, or if one or more, okay, one or more for defensive rated players, I don't think they, no, they still don't. So no defensive rated players. There's going to be an outside shot for the left defenseman. So uh, Vancouver, uh, Quinn Hughes will have an outside shot. That is an eight. And that's going to be a save left wing. Outside shot for right wing. That's going to be Jay Beagle. That is a 10. 10 is a save in the defensive right defenseman. Outside shot for left wing. That's Tanner Pearson with an outside shot. And that's going to be a 4 on the outside shot. And that's a save any defensive player. Um, inside shot for left defenseman. That's Quinn Hughes with the inside shot. That is a four, and that's going to be a save defensive left defenseman and um, 
inside shot for right defenseman. So Travis Harmonic has an inside shot. And that's a six. And that's going to be a lose to the right wing. So Anthony Stewart has the, uh, has the puck. And he is the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. That's Jay Beagle. He'll try to pass it. Passing says passing K. So passing K on Beagle is lose puck to the right wing. Anthony Stewart has it again. He is the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for center. And that's JT Miller, but he can penetrate. He will, and he does, and he has an inside shot. That is a seven on the inside. That is going to be a goalie rating. So um, and we're going to look at Andre Pavlik and roll it. Roll the bones, and it's going to be save any forward. We'll give it to Kane. Kane has the puck. He's the visitor across from him. Uh, the penalty rating gets a penalty. So now there's a penalty on the, um, the uh, Canucks. Forward lines will change when we come back. But we're going to pick two cards, two regular play cards. We're going to roll the dice. That's a one. If the left defenseman is a two or more defensively. And uh, he is. No, no, he isn't. Not on a power play, he isn't. So... Outside shot for left wing. So we're going to have an outside shot for Evander Kane. That is a six, and that's going to be a save. Outside shot for right wing, Anthony Stewart. That is going to be a five. That's a lose to the defensive center. Inside shot for right defenseman. That's Ron Hainsey. Our man, Ron Hainsey, 12 inside shot. is goalie rating. Let's roll the bones on Dem the Thatcher Demko. And that's a... Uh, or no, let's... <laughs> two dice. Four is a rebound. So we're going to pick the rebound. No, 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 we're not. We're going to go on to the next thing. Inside shot for left defenseman. So inside shot for Oduya. And we'll roll that. That is a three. Lose to the left wing. So Tanner Pearson has it. He's home. Home says passing J. And that's going to be inside shot for center. So JT Miller has an inside shot. And that's going to be a seven on the inside shot. And that's a goalie rating. We're looking at Andre Pavlek. That is a nine. That's going to be a save any forward. So we're going to give it to Kane again. And he is the visitor. Across from him, any penalty. So Vancouver has another penalty. There will be, oh, and I forgot, I was supposed to do an offensive line change. So we will do that. I didn't do that, so we will do it now. Line three will come out for both teams. And we'll have a defensive line change when we get back off of this penalty. And um, the offensive line right now for Atlanta is Eric Bolton at left wing, Brian Little at center, Radic Dvorak at right wing. And for Vancouver, it's Jimmy Vesey at left wing, Elias Peters Patterson Pedersen in center, and Jake Vertanen at right wing. And uh, the, let's see. And the penalty is on Vancouver. So we're going to roll the dice. See what we get. 14. If two or more four rated defensive players for Vancouver. Two or more. And you have, it looks like, no one. 
So uh, if one or less outside shot for right wing. So that's going to be. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's going to be. Um, no, wait. God. Again. All right. I got I got them in the wrong place. So the uh, the Vancouver line is is going to be Vesey, Pedersen, and Vertanen. The Atlanta line is going to be Bolton, Little, and Dvorak. And uh, that's a 14. Out, um, outside shot for right wing. That's going to be Dvorak with an outside shot. And that's going to be a 9. That's going to be a save. Um, outside shot for left wing. Outside shot for Bolton. Seven outside is lose to the center. Outside shot for center. That's going to be Brian Little. That is an eight. Eight is a rebound, but we're not going to look at that. Um, and then inside shot for left wing. So that's Eric Bolton inside shot. That is a seven inside, and that's going to be a lose to any defensive player. We'll give it to Pedersen, and then we're going to do a defensive line chain. And so, uh, we will. Vancouver will send out Jalen Chatfield at left defenseman and Tyler Myers at right defenseman. And Atlanta will send out um, Mark Stewart at left defenseman, Freddie Meyer at right defenseman. Okay, and uh, yeah, and Pedersen has the puck, so he's the home team. Lose puck outside shot for center, so Brian Little has an outside shot. He's a penetration four, he'll try to penetrate. He does, he takes a shot from the inside, and that's going to be a save left defenseman. Chatfield has it for Vancouver. He's the visiting team. Visitor says loose puck, possible breakaway. So we'll see who the breakaway might go to. Left wing. So Eric Bolton has a breakaway, and we will um, and we'll roll the dice for the breakaway. And that's a twelve on breakaway, and it's going to be save right defenseman. Tyler Myers has the puck. He's home, it says passing L, passing L is lose puck to the right wing. Radic Dvorak has it for Atlanta. He's the visitor, it says opponent defense 14, and that's going to be an outside shot. Dvorak has an outside shot. He's just going to take it. That's a six. That is going to be a save defensive center. Pedersen has the puck. There will be a forward line change. So they're going to the fourth lines. And uh, so now the, the fourth line for Vancouver is Matthew Highmore at left wing, Travis Boyd at center, Brandon Suter at right wing. For Atlanta, they're going to have Chris Thorburn at left wing, Alexander Burmistrov at center, and Zach Bogosian at right wing. For the moment, Boyd has the puck. He is the visitor. Or no, he's home. He's home and a, a de defense 14 is an outside shot. Boyd has an outside shot. He's a penetration one, so he'll just take it. That's an 11 and it's goalie rating. So we're going to be looking at Mr. Pavlek and rolling the dice. And that's a nine and that's a save any forward. Every time they roll on him, that's what they get. Burmistraw will take the puck for Atlanta. And that says lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. That's Chatfield. He'll pass the puck. 
passing section says lose puck defensive left defenseman has control so that's Stewart Stewart with the puck and he is the visitor and it says opponent defense 13 and that's an outside shot outside shot for Stewart he is a one we're going to pass it with him and the passing section says inside shot for center so Alexander Burmistrov has an inside shot that is an eight on the inside shot, which is a rebound, saving a rebound. We'll pick the, the card and look at the rebound section. That says offensive right defenseman. Freddie Meyer has a rebound shot. That is an eight, and that's going to be another rebound. So we'll pick the puck and look at the rebound section again. Offensive right defenseman, if rating is two or more. And... uh Offense, it isn't. So he loses the puck to Chatfield. Chatfield is the home team. We'll pick it. Opponent defense 12. And that's going to be takes the puck away. Freddie Meyer takes the puck away from Chatfield. And now we have another forward line change. So we're going back to the first lines. Um... Going back to line one. So that means for Vancouver, you have Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, and Hoaglander out there. For Atlanta, you have Ladd, Shrimp, and Wheeler. And we will pick the puck and or pick the card and he's home across from him anything but a C or a D penalty and uh, that's going to be a D so D takes the puck back away Chatfield takes the puck away and he's home it says lose puck outside shot for left wing that's Andrew Ladd Ladd is a four penetration he will try to penetrate and he does make it inside has an inside shot, and it's a 12. It's a goal! It's just a goal for Andrew Ladd. And Atlanta ties the game at 1. So we have a 1-1 one -one tie here as the first period's getting ready to wind down. We're going to do the face-off. That's a 16, and it's a plus 2 for Vancouver. Inferior right wing. So that's going to be Blake Wheeler is going to come away with the puck. And uh, they're the visitor, and it's an outside shot for the right wing or center. So it's an outside shot for Shrimp. Shrimp is a three. He'll try to penetrate. He does get inside. So now Shrimp has an inside shot. That is a three on the inside. It's a goal, one to 12. And it isn't. <laughs> it is not a goal, one to 12. So, um, I think what we'll do there is we'll just say it's a face-off and held by the goalie. So, we'll roll for the face-off. That's a nine. Um, nine is superior left wing. So, that's going to be Brock Besser coming away with the puck on the last card of the period. He's home and there's a possible breakaway. The breakaway section says left defenseman. So... Uh, Jalen Chatfield has a breakaway. That is an eight. That's going to be a rebound, so we'll pick the rebound card. Rebound says defensive right defenseman if defense rating is three or more. And it isn't. So um, if not, opponent has rebound shot. So that, yeah, Chatfield has a rebound shot. And that is a five, and five on the rebound is lose to defensive left defenseman. And that is the end of the period. That's how your first period ends in a 1-1 one -one tie. Hello, we're back for the second period of our game between the 2021 Vancouver Canucks and the 2010-2011 Atlanta Thrashers. And we have a good one going. It's one to one. 
Andre Pavlak of Atlanta had a really good first period. I mean, he gave up a goal immediately, like right off the bat. But after that, he was tested throughout the period and held strong. And uh, Thatcher Demko has been equally good. In fact, we had the first goal was right at the beginning of the period. And then the, the uh, other goal by um, Atlanta was right near the end of the period. So... With that in mind, we are going to, well, again, I, man, keep making this mistake. So, again, we are going to have the, uh, the face-off. The, uh, the top lines for each team are out. So, for Vancouver, that's Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, and Nils Hoaglander on the front line, and their blue line is going to be Alexander Edler and Nate Schmidt. For Atlanta, their front line is going to be Andrew Ladd, Rob Shrimp, and Blake Wheeler, and their blue line will be Tobias Enstrom and Dustin Byfuglin. So we're going to do the face-off. Uh, again, Bo Horvat's a plus two, Shrimp is a zero, so that's a plus two total. There is a 12 on the face-off, and 12 plus 2 is superior any player. So uh, that's going to go to, we'll give it to Horvat, and we will pick the card. His team is home, and it says passing L for him. Passing L is inside shot for any player on a great pass, and that's going to be Brock Besser. He's going to take the inside shot. And that is an 8, which is going to be a rebound, I believe. It's a save and a rebound. We'll pick the rebound card and refer to that. Uh, offensive right defenseman, if his offense rating is a 3 or better. And it is. So that's Nate Schmidt. And Nate Schmidt will take the rebound shot. That's a 5. 5 on the rebound is lose to the left wing. So Andrew Ladd of Atlanta now has the puck. He is the visitor. That says lose puck possible breakaway. So we're going to look at the breakaway section of the next card. Right defenseman if breakaway penetration is three. And his breakaway penetration is three. So that's Nate Schmidt. And he has now has a breakaway shot. He failed the last time. But this time it's a goalie rating. And we're going to be looking... At Andre Pavlak, who had a good first period, but he allows oh, a goal there. So, so uh, again, uh, Vancouver jumps out to a quick, a quick uh, lead, uh, a quick lead in the period, and now they lead two to one in the game. And we will have the faceoff again with a plus two, and that's a three. Or wait a minute, no, wrong dice. Wrong dice. That's a four. Face off four, superior right wing. So that's going to be Nils Highland, Hoaglander. Hoaglander has it. He is the home team. Lose puck outside shot for center. So that's Rob Shrimp. He's a penetration three. He'll try to penetrate. He does get inside, so now he has an inside shot. That is a three on the inside shot, and it's going to be a goal one to 12. And it is, and they tie, they come right back and tie it up, and it's 2-2. Two, two. That's crazy. That's crazy quick. So we're going to do the uh, face-off again. Face-off nine, and a plus two is a superior left wing. So that's going to be, or that's going to be uh, Brock Besser. Brock Besser with the puck. He's home. It says passing L. Inside shot. Any player, great pass. It's going to be Horvat. Horvat will take the inside shot. That's an eight. That's going to be a save and a rebound. We'll go to the rebound section of the next card. Offensive right wing if offense rating is two or more. I would hope it would be, and it is. So that's Hoaglander with an with a, an inside shot, seven. That's going to be a goalie rating. We look at Pavlek. That's a two, save either defenseman. So we'll give it to Enstrom. Tobias Enstrom has it now. 
And uh, that says, lose puck outside shot for right wing. So Nils Hoaglander has the outside shot. He has a penetration four. He'll try to penetrate. He doesn't. So he loses the puck to Andrew Ladd. Ladd has the puck, and that says, lose puck outside shot for opponent. So that's Hoaglander. He has an outside shot. He will try to penetrate again. He does it this time. That's a six. Six is going to be lose to the right wing. Blake Wheeler has the puck, and the forward lines will change. So it's not Blake Wheeler who has the puck. It is, in fact, Anthony Stewart. So the line for Vancouver will be Tanner Pearson, J.T. Miller, and Jay Beagle. And the line for Atlanta will be Evander Kane, Nick Antropov, and Anthony Stewart. And as I said, Stewart has the puck. And that says outside shot for left wing. That's Kane. Kane is a four penetrating. He will try to penetrate. He does get inside. And that's a two on an inside shot. It's going to be a save left wing. Tanner Pearson with the puck. He is home. Passing K. Lose puck to the center. Nick Antropov has it for Atlanta. And uh, that says passing K. Inside shot for left wing. That's, that's Kane. He feeds Kane inside. That's a six. That's going to be a save any player. They're going to give it to Miller. And the defensive lines will change. So for Vancouver, that means it's going to be Quinn Hughes and Travis Harmonic. For Atlanta, it'll be Johnny Oduya and Ron Hainsey, our, our main man, Ron Hainsey. With JT Miller having the puck. Home says outside shot for center, or right wing or center, so right wing. And uh, an outside shot for Beagle, he's not very good. He's going to try to pass it. And passing says lose puck to opponent. So Evander Kane comes up with the puck. He is the visitor. Passing L, lose puck to center. JT Miller has it for Vancouver. Possible breakaway. And the breakaway section says left defenseman if breakaway penetration is three or better. And it is not. So um, let's see. If not, lose puck to opponent. So that would be Antropov in my interpretation of, of things. Outside shot for for right winger center. So that's Anthony Stewart has an outside shot. He's a penetration three. But you know what? I'm just going to let him take it. That is a five. That's going to be a lose to the center. JT Miller has the puck for Vancouver. Lose puck outside shot for left wing. That's Evander Kane. He'll try to get inside. He does not. So he loses the puck back to Jay Beagle, who has it now. And, um, that says outside shot for center. So that's Miller. Miller can try to penetrate. He will. He doesn't. So Antropov has the puck. Or he won't because the forward lines are going to change. And so we're going to have the third line out there for Atlanta. So the puck is going to go to, where did I just put it? I, geez, I knew I was going to lose the puck. Oh, here it is. Okay. So it goes to Brian Little. So the front line for Atlanta is Eric Bolton, Brian Little, and Dvorak with Little having the puck. And we're going to get the third line for Vancouver out there. And that is going to be... Um, Jimmy Vesey, Elias Pettersson, and Jake Vertanen. With little in control of the puck. Lose puck outside shot for left wing. So that's Jimmy Vesey. He is a one at penetrating, so that's not one of the options he's going to utilize. He's just going to take the outside shot. That is a five, and it's going to be a save right wing. Dvorak has the puck. 
and that's his opponent defense 12. And his opponent's defense 12 is outside shot. Dvorak with an outside shot, he will just take the shot. And that's a four, and that's going to be a save left wing. So Vesey has the puck for Vancouver. And that's his opponent defense 12. That's Dvorak's defense 12, and it, he takes the puck away. Now the defensive lines change. So we are going to the third line for Atlanta. And the third line for Vancouver. So that means the blue liners now for Vancouver are Chatfield and Tyler Myers. And for Atlanta, it is Mark Stewart and Freddie Meyer with Dvorak in control of the puck. And passing J is inside shot for left wing. That's Eric Bolton. Bolton with an inside shot. That's a four on the inside. It's lose to the left wing. Jimmy Vesey of Vancouver comes away with the puck off of that. Outside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Pedersen, who can try to move inside, and he will try to do that. And he does. And he takes the inside shot, which is a goalie rating. We're looking at Pavlik. That's an eight, and it's going to be a rebound. So we'll go to the next card and look at the rebound section. And the uh, rebound says, defense, any player with a defense rating of two or more. Well, they got to have one of those. And they do, and it's going to be Brian Little. So Brian Little takes control of the puck. And uh, his opposing defense is penalty D. So that's Pedersen taking the puck back away. And then Holmes says, lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Brian Little. But he's a four. He'll try to penetrate inside. That is a 13. He does make it inside barely. And he has a five. And five is going to be a save and a left defenseman comes up with it. That's Chatfield for Vancouver. That says lose puck possible breakaway. We'll look at the breakaway section of the next card. It says right defenseman at breakaway penetration is two. And it is. So that's Freddie Meyer. Freddie Meyer with a breakaway. That's a four. And that's going to be a lose to the right wing. That's Jake Vertanen. And then the forward lines will change. And so you got the fourth line going out. And so it isn't Vertanen who's going to have the puck anymore. For Atlanta, the lot front line now is Chris Thorburn, Alexander Burmistrov, and Zach Bogosian. For Vancouver, it's Matthew Highmore, Travis Boyd, and Brandon Sutter. And Brandon Sutter has the puck. And Holmes says, opponent defense 13, that's outside shot. Outside shot for Sutter, but he can try to work inside. He doesn't. He loses the puck to uh, Thorburn. Thorburn with the puck and opponent defense 13. And that's takes the puck back away. So Sutter takes the puck back away from him. And... Um, that says outside shot for left wing. So Highmore has an outside shot. He is only a one, so he's just going to take the outside shot, and it's a 12, and that's going to be a lose to the defensive left defenseman. That is Mark Stewart. Mark Stewart with the puck. And that says opponent defense 12, which is takes the puck away. So Tyler Myers of Vancouver now has the puck and uh that says opponent's defense or his penalty rating it's a d so mark stewart takes the puck back away mark stewart of atlanta has it there's a forward line change so we're going back to the first lines atlanta's first line is going to go out there And so is Vancouver's.
So that means Vancouver now has Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, and Hoaglander out there. And Atlanta has Andrew Ladd, Rob Shrimp, and Blake Wheeler out on the ice. And uh, Stewart with the puck. He is the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Tyler Myers. Myers with the outside shot. He's a three penetration, so he'll try to get inside. He does get inside and has an inside shot. That is a five on an inside shot, which is a lose or a save in the left left wing. So Ladd has the puck. He's a visitor. Opponent defense 13. That takes the puck away. So Hoaglander takes the puck away for Vancouver, and they have it. Lose puck outside shot for left defenseman. And that's Mark Stewart. Mark Stewart with the outside shot. He's a penetration one. He's going to try to pass. Passing says passing L. Lose puck to the right wing. So that's going to be Nils Hoaglander. And we're on the last card. He is home. Inside shot for any player. That's going to be Horvat. They will give Horvat the inside shot. And that's going to be a save in the right defenseman. And that is how the second period ends. At the end of the first period, it was tied at one. At the end of the second period, it's tied at two. Well, we're back for the third period. Between the 2021 Vancouver Canucks and the 2010-2011 Atlanta Thrashers. Both teams are tied at two after two periods. One goal in each of the first two periods for each team. In the third period, we will have the first lines out there for both teams. So that means uh, the front line for Vancouver will be Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, and Nils Hoaglander. And their top defensive line will be Alexander Edler and um, Nate Schmidt. For the Atlanta... Thrashers, their front line will be Andrew Ladd, Rob Shrimp, and Blake Wheeler. And their top blue line is Tobias Enstrom and Dustin Bifugelin. Now, um, in the third period, as you might have noticed in the first two periods, I had uh, four offensive line changes. Because we're in the third period, we're going to have one less than that. So we're only going to have three offensive line changes. Uh, and we will have the normal, I guess it was two defensive line changes. So that have, having been said, we will go to the face-off circle at the, in the uh, center ice area. And uh, we will roll the dice. There's oh, wrong one. There's a plus two advantage for Vancouver on the face-off. That is an 18 and that's inferior right defenseman coming away with the puck. So that's going to be Dustin Bifuglin of Atlanta. He is on the visiting team, and it says outside shot for left wing. Now, the left wing is Andrew Ladd. He is a four. He can try to penetrate, and he will, and he does. He'll take the inside shot. It's a seven. That's a goalie rating, so we're going to be looking at Thatcher Demko and rolling the dice, and it's a five, which is a save either defenseman. So we'll give it to Alexander Edler, and now he has the puck. And that says, um, outside shot for any player. They're going to give it to Horvat, and Horvat's going to try to move inside. He doesn't, so he loses the puck to Shrimp. Rob Shrimp has it for Atlanta. And that says, lose puck outside shot for opponent. So that would be an outside shot for Horvat. He will try to move in again. This time he, I don't think he does. Let's see. Uh, yes, no, he doesn't. No, so he loses the puck back to Shrimp again. So now Shrimp has the puck. And uh, that says opponent defense 12, Horvat's defense 12 is takes the puck away. So it's just Shrimp and Horvat doing a little bit of uh, tennis here, taking the puck back and forth between each other. And that says outside shot for left wing. So now you've got Besser with a possible outside shot. He is a four trying to move inside. He'll try to move inside. He does. 
And he gets a three inside goal, one to 11. And it is, it's a goal for Vancouver, but we've been here before. So, so now Vancouver has a three to two lead and we will have another face off at center ice. We'll roll the dice and that's a five. And uh, on the face off, five plus two is a superior left defenseman. So Alexander Edler has, has it for Vancouver. And that says opponent defense 14, Enstrom's 14 is takes the puck away. Or wait a minute, no, Dustin Fuglin's. Nope, outside shot. So Edler has an outside shot. He can not move in. He's not very good at that, so he's going to pass. We look at the next card. We pick the card and look at the passing, and it says passing J. Passing J is inside shot for the center. So Horvat now has the inside shot, which he will take, and it's a six on the inside, and it's goalie rating. We're going to look at Pavlek, and it's a seven, and that's going to be a save either defenseman. So they'll give it to Bifuglin, and... That says uh, the penalty across from Bifuglin is Edler, and his penalty rating is a C, so there is a penalty on Vancouver. So Atlanta's going to the power play. We'll pick two cards to get the power play out of the way, and um, then we will see what it is. And it's a 19. 19 on the power play chart. If three or more four-rated defensive players, well, let's see. You got a two, a two, a one. Nope. So uh, if two or less four-rated defensive players, there's an outside shot for any player. So uh, they're going to give it to Andrew Ladd. Lab from the outside, seven is a save left wing, and then an inside shot for the right defenseman. <clears throat> that's going to be by Fuglin. By Fuglin with an eight is a rebound. So we'll pick the rebound, and uh, since that's the last thing on the uh, power play chart, and the rebound says defensive left wing if his defense rating is three or more. And it isn't. So if not, let's see, opponent rebound shot. So um, so let's see, opponent left wing. So that means the right wing. So Blake Wheeler has a rebound shot. And that's an eight, eight on the rebound. It's, a, it's another rebound. So we'll pick the card. We'll do another rebound. And that is... Defensive right wing, if his defense rating is three or more. And his defense is a three at regular strength. So um, so he does have the puck. And the forward lines change. So it isn't Hoaglander who's going to have it. It will be Beagle. The front line now for Vancouver is... Tanner Pearson, J.T. Miller, and Jay Beagle. The front line for Atlanta is Evander King, Nick Antropov, and Anthony Stewart. And Beagle has it. And that says lose puck outside shot for opponents. So that's Kane. Kane will try to move inside. He doesn't get inside, so he loses the puck to Beagle. Beagle has the puck. And that says, lose puck outside shot for left wing. That's Kane again. He'll try to move inside again. He doesn't get inside again and loses it back to Beagle. So now we got another tennis match between these two. Um, home, across from him penalty-wise, is a B. So, yeah, there's going to be a penalty on Atlanta. So we will pick the two cards. And we will have to remember that we need to change the defensive lines. Um... But, yeah, there's a penalty on Atlanta. Two minutes. We'll roll the dice. Power play for Vancouver is a 14. If two or more four-rated defensive players. Hmm. 
No. So uh, if one or less four rated defensive players, there's an outside shot for the right wing. So that's Jay Beagle. He has an outside shot. That is a seven. That's going to be a save defensive center. Outside shot for left wing. That's Tanner Pearson. Tanner Pearson with a 12 on the outside is a save defensive center. Outside shot for the center. That's JT Miller taking an outside shot. That's a seven. That's going to be a save defensive left defenseman. And inside shot for left wing. So that's going to be Tanner Pearson with an inside shot. That is an eight. And that's going to be a rebound. So we will take the rebound card. Look at the rebound card. Offensive right defenseman if offense rating is a three. And it is. So Nate Schmidt will have a uh, rebound shot. This is off the penalty, though. This, the penalty is over, and it's lose to defensive center. So Antropov has it, and the defenses have to change. So uh, Qu Quinn Hughes is out there for Vancouver, along with Travis Harmonic. And for Atlanta, it's Johnny Oduya and Ron Hainsey. With Nick Andropov having the puck, that says opponent defense 13, and that is outside shot. So Antropov has an outside shot. He's a three. He'll try to penetrate. He does get inside, so he has an inside shot, and it's a six, and that's lose to the right defenseman. So Harmonic now has the puck for Vancouver, and that says inside shot for any player. They're going to give that to Miller. JT Miller taking the inside shot. That is a 10. 10 inside is save left wing. So Evander Kane has it for Atlanta. And then that says passing J. That's inside shot for center. So Nick Antropov has an inside shot. That is a seven. Seven on the inside is save left wing. So Tanner Pearson has it now for Vancouver. And uh, that's an opponent defense 12. That's an outside shot. Pearson with an outside shot, but he can try to move inside. He will. He doesn't do it, though. And so Anthony Stewart has the puck. And that says possible breakaway. We pick the card for the breakaway. Left wing if breakaway penetration is a four. And it is. So Evander Kane has a breakaway shot. And that's a seven. That's going to be a goalie rating. We're going to be looking at Demko on this. That's a nine, and it's a save any forward. So they will give it to um, Beagle, who would be across from Kane, who has a high penalty rating. And uh, that says passing J. Passing J is lose puck to the left wing. So Kane has the puck, and the forward lines will change, so it'll be a different left wing with it. When we come back here, when we get everybody out there... Um, So Eric Bolton will have it, and we have to make the change for Vancouver as well. So the front line now for Vancouver is Jimmy Vesey, Elias uh, Pedersen, and Jake Britannon. And for Atlanta, it's Eric Bolton, Brian Little, and Radek Dvorak, and Bolton has the puck. And the visitor says, opponent defense 12, that's Vertanen, he takes the puck away. So Jake Vertanen has it. And then that says, a penalty across from him, and his penalty rating is a B, and so there's going to be a penalty on Atlanta. We're going to pick the two cards for the power play, and then we're going to roll the dice for it. So, power play for Vancouver, 17. If one or more four-rated defensive players. Uh, and there isn't. 
So if no four rated defensive players, it's an outside shot for the left defenseman. Outside shot for Quinn Hughes. That is a seven. That's going to be a save right defenseman. Outside shot for right wing. That's Vertanen. That's going to be a seven. That is a save any player. Outside shot for left wing. That's Jimmy Vesey. That is a 10. That's going to be a save left defenseman. Inside shot for left defenseman. That's Quinn Hughes. And that is an 8 inside. And that's a rebound, but we don't count that. And then uh, inside shot for right defenseman. And we roll that. And that's a 2. And that's going to be... Was that an inside shot? Yeah, inside shot. So that's going to be a goal 1 to 10. And it is a goal for Vancouver. And Vancouver has probably put themselves... Positioned themselves to win this game now because they have a 4-2 to two goal lead. And that is a power play goal, nonetheless. And we will pick the... Oh, wait. First we have to do the uh, face-off. And that's an 18... And right now, the face-off is even. So, 18 and an even is visitor right defenseman. So, Ron Haynes, he has the puck. And that says, passing K, that's lose puck to center. Eliash Patterson has it, and the defensive lines will change. So... Um, we've got the third line going out for uh, both teams. The third defensive line. So for Atlanta, that means Mark Stewart and Freddie Meyer. And for uh, Vancouver, it means Jalen uh, Chatfield and Tyler Myers. With Patterson having the puck... And uh, that says, lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. That's Freddie Meyer with an outside shot. He's a two at penetrating, so he won't. He'll try to pass. Get it to somebody who's better. Passing says, passing L, lose puck to right wing. So Vertanen has the puck for Vancouver. And then that says, passing L, and that is, lose puck to any player. We'll give it to Little. Brian Little has the puck, and that says, lose puck possible breakaway. We'll look at the breakaway section. Left defenseman if breakaway penetration is a two, and it isn't. So if not, opponent has control, so that means Freddie Meyer has the puck. And um, that is... Inside shot for any player. Uh, they're going to give it to Brian Little. Brian Little with the inside shot. That is a 10. And that's a save defensive center. Pedersen comes up with it. Forward lines change. Um, Vancouver is going to go ahead and send out their fourth line. Uh, but... Uh, Atlanta, because they're losing, is going to go back to their first line. So for Atlanta, they have Andrew Ladd, Shrimp, and Blake Wheeler out there. Vancouver has Matthew Highmore, Travis Boyd, and Brandon Sutter. And Boyd has the puck. And um, the... Uh, And we'll pick the card for Vancouver. They're home, and it says passing L. Passing L is lose puck to any player. That'll be Andrew Ladd. And Ladd has the puck, and it says lose puck outside shot for right wing. So Sutter has the puck. This is the last card. Uh, penalty across from him, 
is um, is a D. So Lad would come up with the puck, but that was the last card. And so that's how the game ends. Vancouver wins this one four to two with two unanswered goals in the third period. And that's how it stands. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.